A few years back, this land was full of vast forest, but deforestation has changed all that. Forests have dwindled and rivers have dried up, as people cut down trees to ek a living by selling them for firewood. The two main threats to the land here are unplanned expansion of farms, so that slash and burn agriculture. When you cut down the trees here and you, um, you take away the shrubs and you take away the grasses, then the topsoils blow away in the wind and they wash away in the, in the rains. And you end up with a subsoil which has no carbon. If you have no carbon in the soils, then you have nothing for nutrients to fix to. So you end up with a dead environment. However, after decades of the menace, a local project has found a way to preserve what's left of the forests. Founded in the year 2009, the initiative is part of a UN-backed carbon credit scheme aimed at reducing carbon dioxide emission over the next 30 years. The project has breathed new life into different dryland forests. Leading buyers of the credits include Microsoft, Barclays Bank and Kenya Airways. They have invested up to $3.5 million each since the project began. They basically buy carbon credits by paying to conserve existing trees and plant new ones. The forests soak in carbon from the atmosphere, helping to reduce carbon dioxide levels in the air and so offset what the companies release themselves. In the developed world have a historical responsibility for addressing the mess that is there. Uh, because the climate change problem was not caused by Africa. It was not caused by developing countries. It was not caused by um, what we call the least developed countries. It is the developed countries that are responsible for the mess. And we continue insisting as developing countries that, that they must take immediate and drastic steps to correct the problem. The scheme directly employs some 400 people and supports nearly 100,000 rural farmers in other projects, such as sustainable charcoal production, tree nurseries, and eco-friendly craft products. In a region where many people live on just a dollar a day, the project has had a major impact bringing in an average of some $270 per person per year. Peter Kaba, CCTV.